going to start off today's project by acknowledging that obviously this should be made in a lathe, but here we are. So here I've got it chucked up in the Tormach, just based off the surface and putting a hole in the middle here. And spiral drilling a couple holes around the uh, 90 degrees out from each other on the perimeter. It's going to give a place for a barrel nut to sit. That'll make a little more sense later. Now I'm just defining the outer perimeter. Try to reduce the number of tool changes anytime I can, because it's all manual. Now that we've got the general shape, switch over to a drill and try to get rid of uh, some of the material in the hole there before I switch to a really small size one which I've become very good at breaking so the more material we get out of the way the better not the best camera angle with that tiny bit sorry about that And then come back through and chamfer everything. And of course this thing needs a slot for the cable to ride in. And that's what this cutter... I, it's shaped like a T-slot cutter, but it's not a T-slot cutter, so I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it's got this little radius on it. Uh, you can see here. It's the same radius as the cable. And then of course one of the most important tools in my arsenal is this giant T-slot cutter. I don't even remember where it came from. But I know I use it a lot. And the day it dies it's going to cause a problem because I've yet been able to find another one that's quite as big. It really helps with the undercuts without flipping the parts over. So here I'm doing two things. Uh, the back side has to be a smaller diameter because it goes up against the carburetor and there's other stuff in the way. So I'm um, putting in that smaller diameter, but I'm also going down further to give myself room for uh, the saw cut when I pull this out and put it on the chop saw. That way the blade has somewhere to go. Here's that barrel nut. Nice snug fit, but it lines up pretty well with the slot for the cable. And the two different positions gives me options. Put that little ledge there so I'd know where to hit it on the chop saw. I'll go cut that off, bring it back. So here it is lopped off. And this should fit the bolt on the carburetor. We'll have to, to fit it and find out for sure. That, uh, that long quarter inch end mill leaves more chatter than I would like, but it's the only one I got at the moment. 
in the groove. The groove is the right size for a cable. What I don't know is, is this diameter too small? Will this, uh, will this cable take it, or will it constantly try to, I don't know. We'll know till we try. Thanks for watching.